For decades, our cities have been seen by the neoliberal elite as growth machines, battling one another to increase the financial figures that seemingly represent the success of their economy. Meanwhile, austerity is biting hard, with the lowest funding for local government since 1948. Inequality is at an all-time high, and basic services to meet the simplest of our needs are cracking under the pressure. But cities aren't just growth machines, they are engines of political renewal. In response to austerity, we've begun to see a global renaissance in urban politics under the banner of the new municipalism, or municipal socialism. Inspired by waves of revolt and insurgency, grassroots movements are again looking at how to seize the levers of power for emancipatory politics. There's no one model for this new municipalism, but they share some common concerns. The feminization of politics is not just about getting women into power. In Spain, citizen platform Barcelona en Comú got their representatives elected onto the city council and are now dismantling concentrated power and redistributing it. 30,000 citizens collectively ratified the platform's manifesto, placing care, cooperation and people's lived experience at the heart of politics. Community wealth building is about retaking control of local services from big business. Through re-municipalisation, recommoning and supporting the development of local worker cooperatives, communities are stopping corporations from leaching wealth out of our towns and cities. Anchor institutions, those organisations rooted in place like hospitals and universities, can actively support progressive and democratic forms of economic development by changing the way they interact with their city, encouraging them, for example, to insource domiciliary workers and confer full employment rights to end casualisation. The new municipalism is fundamentally about movement building and struggle, affirming cities as sites of resistance. Through new municipalist practices of governing, citizens are winning back power where they live. Together, cities committed to equality, democracy and the feminization of politics are beginning to usher in a new era of global inter-urban solidarity with the aim of developing a transformative politics capable of looking beyond capitalism.